Hello, uh, I'm Colonel Matt Hepburn. Uh, I'm a program manager in the Biological Technologies Office uh, at DARPA. I am a active duty Army infectious diseases physician and have specialized in uh, addressing biological threats um, that can either be engineered or naturally occurring, such as Ebola or pandemic influenza. Today we're going to be talking about one of the technologies that I actively manage, a company called Profusa, which is aiming at achieving tissue level continuous health monitoring. Through the SBIR program, we funded them to solve a incredible technical challenge that no one else had been previously able to solve. The key innovation that was presented to us is they said, why can't we make a chemical substance that's really identical to what's underneath the skin, what we call the subcutaneous tissue? so that your body doesn't recognize it as a foreign body response. It just incorporates itself into the tissue. And we have a lot of examples now where a sensor put right underneath the skin can sense things like oxygen and other chemicals that are very important to our metabolism. And not just sense that for a day or a week or even a month, but we imagine that sensing these parameters can go on for a period of years. One of the most important applications to us is so that we can improve the health of our worldwide deployed military force. We feel a strong sense of obligation that if we're going to ask somebody to be deployed and to carry out their mission, that we want to keep them healthy. And this technology will give us a way to monitor if someone is getting sick. We imagine that we would be able to sense that very early and therefore prevent them from getting sick and prevent their complications, allow them to stay healthy and continue to carry out their mission. In addition, if our technology translates into general health benefit, we're very excited about that. So in other words, we fund those national security applications. Um, the company finds uh, private sector partnership funding um, for the, that general health benefit. And we see it as really a win-win um, as this technology develops.